Hey guys, so there are some Nintendo things that have happened in the past couple weeks. I haven't been able to touch on a video, so I figured in one video I would wrap up on a couple things, giving my thoughts and opinions, and letting you know if you haven't heard yet. So I was in class at school and I found this out. We were outside the building getting ready to film stuff, and I was on Twitter, and I watched the trailer, and I was squeeing, I was crying, I was jumping up and down, like I was acting like a five-year-old who just got a pony that she had been asking for for Christmas or something. But I was very excited. We found out Pokemon The Origin is coming over to North America. It's going to be called Pokemon Origins. It's going to be on Pokemon TV. It is going to be a four-part episode series. And it's going to be on de debuting on November 15th. So I don't know about you guys, but I am immensely excited for Refit U because of the fact that I work at a gym. So it just adds on to my tracking of my healthy lifestyle and calories and other stuff. Like, you don't understand how, like how much I need this thing in my life. So I definitely cannot wait until it comes out. I'm really excited about the fact that the Fit Meter, it's not just like a normal pedometer, but it'll measure not only your steps and your calories, but it'll also measure the intensity and your elevation of your possible workout, which is mind-blowing for what's supposed to be a game device it working just like a normal pedometer. We Fit You is going to be coming out on December 13th in stores. It'll have 19 new activities which will add up to a grand total of 77 in all. You could buy it the disc version with the Wii Fit Meter and then there's also the new covers bundle which will also come with the Wii Balance Board. But if you are looking to save some money and you don't mind digital downloads, Nintendo has a cool offer for Wii U owners. Starting November 1st all the way up to January 31st, you can download a demo version of Wii Fit U, but it's a demo because you don't have the Wii Fit Meter. But starting November 1st as well, you can buy the Wii Fit Meter separately in the store for $20, and once you sync that up to your Wii U, you then get the full version of Wii Fit U, and it is yours to keep for free. So technically you'll be getting the Wii Fit Meter and Wii Fit U, the game, a digital download for $20. Wii Street U has an update. It is going to be compatible with your Wii Fit Balance Board now where you'll be able to actually take steps and walk through the scenery. Starting November 7th, you'll be able to download Wii Sports Club and from what I watched in the Direct, from my understanding, the app itself is going to be free. Online is going to be added to the games, but the catch is that if you want each additional game by itself, like if you only want the tennis or bowling or golf, whichever combination you want, each game itself is going to be $10. Downloading each individual game within the software is going to be what is referred to as a club pass where you buy the standalone game by itself for $10. But for a day pass, for $2 for 24 hours, you can access all of the games and play them unlimited, which is pretty cool depending on if you want to try out and see which games you want to keep or not. Then you have the trial pass when you first download Wii Sports Club where you can try out all the games for free for 24 hours. We have a challenger approaching for Super Smash Bros. and it is Toon Link. I'm so, so excited. So for some reason I felt like I wasn't expecting it, but at the same time I was. But you know with the recent release of Wind Waker HD on the Wii U, it only makes sense that they would be bringing him back for Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U 3DS. And I'm so excited and I cannot wait to play him. And lastly, I did want to give my thoughts, my respect, my condolences to everyone in Hiroshi Yamauchi's family. Unfortunately, he has passed away on September 19th, and if you don't know who he was, he was the Nintendo president starting in 1949 up and all the way until Satoru Iwata took over. And he's just done so much for the gaming world, whether you are a Nintendo person, a Microsoft person, or a Sony person, you have to respect this man on what he has done for not only his company, but the fact that he has shaped the gaming world, and I feel that Video games would not be where they are today if it wasn't for this man and what he has done and what he's done for this company to bring together such talent to create the franchises that a lot of us love and have grown up with. So this man definitely deserves all of our respect and love because he has created my, he helped to shape my childhood. So I can't give nothing but love and respect to this man. So I want you guys to leave your comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts and opinions on any of the topics discussed today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for my next video. Bye!